Hey art friends, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to draw a really cool shamrock shake. I hope you're gonna follow along and you got your art supplies already. Let's get started. First, let's draw the cup for a shake. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line about here. We'll draw it straight across and we're trying to also draw it in the middle of our paper. Then we're gonna draw the lip of the cup. So we're gonna draw two short lines down on each side and then we're gonna draw another line all the way across. Now, because I'm the only one in the studio today, no, I'm not drawing with one of my kids, this lesson might go a little fast. So remember to pause the video if you need extra time. All right, now let's draw the next level of our cup. I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines coming down. Then we're gonna draw a little bump coming in on each side, and then we're gonna draw the cup coming down further. So we're gonna draw more diagonal lines. They're getting closer together towards the bottom. Then at the very bottom, we're gonna draw another horizontal line and I'm drawing curves in the corner so there's not a sharp corner. Next, we're gonna draw the cherry and we're gonna draw it up here floating so that we have space for the whipped cream. We're gonna draw a kind of a circle shape, also maybe a heart shape. So we're gonna draw a little bump and then come around and draw another bump that comes in. And then we could draw the stem coming out of the center of the cherry. Let's also add a shamrock. Maybe this is a really big sprinkle or some kind of decoration. I'm gonna draw it right here. We'll draw a heart shape and I'm also drawing it diagonal. That's the first leaf. Then we're gonna draw another leaf. So we're gonna draw that same heart shape, but right here in the middle, we're not connecting. Then we'll draw another heart shape on this side and then we'll connect them all together. Now let's draw the whipped cream. We're gonna start here on the cherry and we're gonna draw bumps that come down and connect to the lip or the top of our cup. And then we can draw those same bumps, but we'll draw them behind the shamrock and there's really just two little bumps that you can see because it's behind the shamrock. Now I'm gonna add more sprinkles on our whipped cream. I'm gonna add circles, sprinkles. Maybe these are green too. Then also you can add more sprinkles and you could draw half circles out here on the outside. Next, we need to add the straw. I'm gonna add a diagonal line coming down to the whipped cream. And then we're gonna draw another diagonal line that matches right next to it. And then up at the top, we'll connect those two lines with an oval shape. And that's it, we're done drawing a shamrock shape, except I think we need to add a funny face. I'm gonna draw one right here. I'm gonna add funny lips. And you guys can change your funny face any way that you want. You can add different eyes, maybe bigger, crazier eyes. Maybe your shake is screaming. Oh, we could draw the mouth really wide, or really open. <laughs> and I'm gonna draw a big tongue inside. And then we could draw highlights or little circles in the top left of each eye, and then I'm gonna color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. Now we're ready to color our drawing. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. All right, let's speed things up. I added more shamrocks and also hearts, and on the cherry, I'm coloring it in with the red marker, but I'm also leaving a little highlight to make this cherry looks shiny. You can even make the highlight bigger by adding white color pencil on top. This is a Prismacolor colored pencil. It's my favorite to add the highlights back in. All right, let's keep going. When I'm using our Art for Kids Hub markers, the light colors, like this light green, this is number 174, it will blend or bleed with the black marker. So when I'm coloring, I'll try to color away from the black marker so that it doesn't smear it. But that is supposed to happen because these markers blend and you can use them to shade and also mix colors. So it is supposed to happen when you're coloring, but sometimes you just don't want it to happen. So that's one thing that I try to do is color away from the black marker or not go over it as much. Now I'm using a darker green to add shading on the shamrock. I'm using 59 green. And another thing too, if 
We are sold out of these markers at the moment and we're trying to get them back in stock as soon as possible. Apologize if you guys have been waiting to buy those, but we will get those back in stock hopefully soon. If you can't wait and you really need a set of markers, you can get the biannual set from Amazon and we have a link in our Amazon shop for parents and adults out there. But it might be a little more challenging to match the colors to what I'm using. So I also always recommend having a little swatch. So you take a sheet of paper and put all of your colors on there and then mark them with the number. That way you can pick which color you think would match better once you're ready to color in your drawings. So I might say that we're using a 59 green and that'll look like this. And on your swatch for the biannual markers, you could try to match that same color. All right, let's speed things up again. Now also with the white color pencil, I'm gonna use this to add a highlight coming down the cup on the left side. Then we can also use this white color pencil to add more of a highlight to the eyes. And you can even also add an extra little dot in the eye. And then I like to switch to my light blue colored pencil and add even a third highlight at the very bottom. This is more of a reflection in the eyes. That makes it look more 3D. And you can pause the video right now to match the same coloring, or you could color your drawings any way you want. And if you do have the same marker set, some of the other colors that I use are 15 red, then I also use 66 blue, 88 pink, also a really light pink, number 17, and then this darker green, number 54. But also remember, you can use anything you want to color your drawings. You could use crayons, oil pastels, or even paint. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing your own shamrock shake. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Hey parents, teachers, and librarians. I'm super excited to share something awesome with you. We've put together our very first book filled with fun drawing lessons for you and your creative kids. From cute pets to mythical creatures, it's got everything to spark your creativity. And the coolest part, you can pre-order today. I also wanna give a huge shout out to our amazing publisher, DK Books. Thank you, DK Books, for making this dream a reality. We can't wait to see the amazing art you'll create with the help of our book. So click the link in the description and pre-order your copy today. Your support means the world to us. Keep drawing, keep creating, and always remember the most important thing is to have fun and practice. We'll see you later, our friends.